Hello everybody and welcome to Fig Fanatic. My name is Jesse and today we are doing an awesome unboxing of two of the newest Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle line figures from the cartoon animated series. We have the Ultimate Foot Soldier, Mondo Gecko. I am absolutely freaking pumped to open these things up. I have been needing a Foot Soldier for almost a year now. And then today we also are doing Mondo Gecko, who was one of my favorite figures growing up. He had the skateboard. He had the attitude of the 90s. He was awesome. So let's get started and let's open these bad boys up. So we are going to start this out with the Ultimate Foot Soldier. So here's the front. They try to fashion it after the um, Family Home Entertainment Company with like the NECA logo, but instead of F-H-E, it's, you know, NECA. I thought that was a really cool detail for those of you millennials that remember the VHS tapes that we had as kids. On the back, has a little description just like the uh, VHS tapes, but instead of pictures of the show, they got... Little action figure shots. You can open it and a cool little window display that they always like to use. So let's open it up. Box cutter, again, saves you a whole headache. I try to keep all my boxes open in case I ever want to sell or trade any of these toys. At least I have the box. Okay, so here he is right there. NECA always does that cool thing where they double layer the packages to fit as much junk as they can in there. Okay. As you can see here, we have the first layer of stuff. We have all the hands of the foot soldier. We have his crazy giant gun, an assault rifle, his pistol, a spear. Um, that was one of the things I thought was so cool about this toy too, is growing up playing the, uh, the beat em up games on Nintendo, Super Nintendo, arcade games. Um, that was their variety of enemies for the most part, was foot soldiers. And they would get different weapons and stuff, like swords and axes. The axe is the only thing he doesn't come with. I was a little disappointed about that, but that's neither here nor there. He comes with so much shit. There is so much to do here. Of course, they uh, really protect these figures to hold them in place. It just stinks for collectors like me that open everything, because I'm over here like, let me just get to the toy already. But Good on them for caring. Most companies do not. All right, let's free him from the plastic prison. Let's get a look at him. Paint job is solid on him. And again, the turtle lines of the NECA animated series is probably my favorite of all of them because man, they're just so damn poseable. They just look incredible. Their colors are vibrant. The way they paint them with the dark colors just look like they literally came from the cartoon. They're like they're just jumping out of the screen right onto your shelf or still in your box if you're an in-the-box collector. No judgment, just saying. Okay, so here he is right there. Foot Soldier himself. Freaking cool. You can have him do all kinds of crazy poses and stuff. You could have him do like his little... uh like in the video game, they're always like with a sword in there, which trust me, we'll, we're going to get to all this. A lot of accessories here. We have the Alpha Intelligent one, which is what this figure is based on, which is from an episode of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. The first item we have here is the head from the episode this toy is based on of the Highly Intelligent one or the Alpha Intelligent one, whatever it was called. And there he is with his big old head. Probably not going to use the head for that, but there it is. They also included uh, a regular foot soldier with, like, the yellow mark. Don't, you know, I like the red. Red's cool. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it, it looks on the shelf with all the other junk, and uh, we'll figure it out from there. Um, of course, they have a little communicator that all the bad guys seem to come with um, on the turtle bad guy side. Uh, talking to Crane there. You got a police hat, which again is based on the cartoon of what he was wearing at the time. It had to do with the plot of the episode. I've not seen this episode in quite a long time, but um, I do roughly remember it. They have a fan, again, came from the episode. Pistol, a couple of different swords, which I am excited about putting in his hand. Again, I kind of wanted an axe, a uh, assault rifle and axe. We got laser gun, some kind of container of some kind. I thought it was the ooze. It's the ooze. Um, but it's not. It's just a weird 
container. You got some ninja stars in there. I'll probably just leave that in there for now because I don't really care about those and I'm gonna lose them. So I'm still a toddler. We got both swords here. We're gonna be definitely taking a look at those here in a minute. We got a boomstick of some kind. It looks like a toilet plunger gun. My personal favorite, the uh, assault rifle. This is definitely Rocksteady's rifle. They definitely just repainted it. I'm not mad about it, I don't care. Um, I, I mean, they repainted it at least, and it even kind of matches uh, the color scheme of the foot soldier. So that part is cool. That doesn't bug me. I know some collectors get up in arms about toy companies reusing parts or pieces. As long as it's not like completely lazy, I don't really give a shit. And a giant spear. I probably won't be using that either. Um, well, let's get to the fun part with the hands. One thing I will say is these hands are going to get everywhere. Obviously, we want to have him hold things for the sake of the video. So that's what we're going to do first. We have his handsies right here. I always get scared of removing the hands of certain figures. They're just, you just never know. I have a my Super Shredder toy I got last year. Uh, he was defective somehow, um, and so his hand, like the little hand joints there, almost broke off when I was trying to get his hand out, and I got scared. So I've just left him in the same open hand palm position as he came out in. So, yeah. This is the only time you'll ever see me, like, play with a toy is during these unboxings when I'm really just experimenting with all the positions they do and stuff. Man, his hands are super flexible, which I like. You don't have to feel like you're roughhousing them or you're about to break them or anything. So that's really cool. You can have them do all kinds of neat stuff. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Man, yeah, his hands are almost too flexible. They make you feel like his fingers are going to break right off. You can have him like hold his gun or however you want to do it. Laser gun is like almost too big for his hand, but it works. It works. It works. Yeah, you use so many options. So wherever look you're going for, this figure has it. definitely holds up true to the uh, the Navy Ultimate Foot Soldier because this really is the ultimate foot soldier. And the only thing he's missing would be like a battle damage of some kind, which I mean I, I don't really want that, but. I get it. it. That's what you're going for. The boomstick's pretty cool, actually. I kind of like that. It's a cool look. And, oh hell, let's get the spear in his hands. Come on, let's just look at it. Let's just see what the spear's going to be all about. Okay, I take it back. The spear's kind of cool because it just fits right in his hands because he's so poseable. Normally, these figures, they just, they're not completely great with holding everything they have, but that's kind of cool. You can have them do anything with this thing block Leonardo's attack with a sword. Don't know how successful that would be, but he's gonna give it a shot. We can even really screw around with uh, the hands here. Have him do almost like a karate chop. Karate chop action right there. Hell yeah. He can even do, <laughs> he can do high fives. He can wave goodbye to you. He can do all kinds of crazy crap. You can walk outside and it's really sunny out. Oh man, just so much. What else have we got in here? Oh, you know what? We have like multiple grip guns. So I screwed that up. I was going through these so slowly that I didn't realize. So the original hands I was showing you, the grappler hands, those are for like the melee weapons. And then they're cool enough to give you this other hand, which is basically the trigger hand, so you can have him. Well, I mean, you can have him hold all the guns basically. But if you're really uh, particular about your poses and stuff, you can have him really clutch onto these guns with the trigger hand. Um, I don't really see much of a difference, but I get it. They they really again wanted to just free him up, give him as much posability as possible, but. Really like the figure so far. Really cool. I've got to say, you can, you know, you can bend his toes and all that kind of stuff. You can really give these guys a lot of different action poses and stuff like that. Um, honestly, through all these different poses, whether you have him holding the laser gun, which I think is really cool. Um, you know, the blue really just comes right off that purple. They have the cool assault rifle, which is obviously really badass. Yes, it is technically, I mean, not technically, it is the exact same assault rifle 
that uh, machine gun, whatever, that uh, Rocksteady has. But, you know, again, I think it's really cool still. The colors match perfectly with him. Um, his short sword's really cool, and his long sword's really cool. Um, both of them are just awesome. Um, that's I'll probably end up having him use the white sword um, for his pose. The spear is obviously really cool. I was dead wrong about that. So much you can do with it. Very cool. And then the boom stick is also cool. Uh, obviously, the fan is what it is. And uh, the ninja stars are really cool. But again, I'm probably not going to use those either. And then the communicator, which I don't know anyone that would ever actually make this a part of the pose with him. And then you have the uh, highly intelligent alpha head or whatever. And then the uh, other alternate head with the yellow uh, foot soldier logo. Um, so yeah, so that, so that is all of the different features on this thing. Personally, I really like them. I'm really excited about them. And again, I'm probably going to have him in the pose of holding up his sword as seen here. I really like this figure. This is freaking awesome. Cannot wait to put him on my uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle shelf that I have right next to me. Um, maybe I'll post that sometime when I actually get a social media going. Um, but there's really not a whole lot of room. Thank God he's kind of skinny because all the bad guys from the set are huge. Well, now that that's over with and we have gotten our foot soldier out and ready to pose down with all my other figures, let's move on and let's get Mondo Gecko broken out. Well, here he is, Mondo Gecko. I've actually had him for a few days now. was saving him for this video. So let's get started. We got the box cutter all ready to go. So we are just going to get started. So excited. So me, I was born in the late 80s. I was a big turtle kid. My parents were uh, nice enough to spoil me, so I got a lot of toys, especially turtle toys as a kid. So as you can see here, here he is. He comes with his little buddy there, Kerma. Kerma, it says his whole little explanation back there. And there we go, there he is. Let's just get going on this now. Similarly to the Turtle Toys of Old, some of the weapons were reused. So when I unboxed the Foot Soldier and pointed out that his machine gun was the exact same as Rocksteady's machine gun from the other NECA toys, it did not bother me, especially because it was repainted. What does bother me is that you have a Foot Soldier with a laser gun, and Mondo Gecko with the laser gun. They are literally the exact same. There is not one iota of a difference between the two. They are identical. That kind of bugs me. I'm not saying this figure sucks or anything. That's a detail that bugs me because it would have killed them to just make it slightly different. I mean, there's a million explanations as to why they chose to go that route. I, I'm just not a fan. Anyways, let's continue on. We're going to get Kerma out of here first. Here he is. Um, did not care about getting Kerma. Um, sometimes, yeah, I just wonder why they chose to put him in there. I mean, he was part of the episode, I know, but eh. I think it's make or break that Kerma came with it. I didn't even know his name was Kerma until uh, I bought the figure and read the back of the box. I didn't really remember him at all, to be honest with you, from the show. So, there he is. He's he's all right. He, he moves his arms up and down. Hey. Whatever. We have Dynamite, which was featured in the episode. That's kind of cool. Look at that. Neat. We have this little handcuffed majigger thing. And from when he, uh, Mondo, that is, pronouns pal, when he robbed a bank, it's this little bag of money, I suppose. The little gecko. That's kind of cool. And then, of course, the main event of the whole unboxing is the skateboard. God, when I was a kid, I loved this figure, mainly based on the skateboard. How badass is that thing? Look at that. It's a little disappointing. I would have thought they would have put something on the bottom of it, actually. So, again, another knock on the figure. Yet another knock. The skateboard is really cool. I will, um... It is neat. I just wish they would have added something to the bottom of the deck. I guess you won't really need to see it, but come on. Paying 
you know, the money you pay for this figure. And uh, you kind of expect it. We are breaking him out of his plastic prison. Okay, here he is, Mondo Gecko. Much like all the other Turtles figures, he is just very colorful, very vibrant. His mouth, uh, you gotta have that stoner kind of like unhinged jaw. Posable has the glove, the one red glove, little Michael Jackson style. And I guess of the time, that would have been the early 90s, late 80s, that would have been the thing. Skull knee pad, again, bright colors, riding a skateboard, and some kind of animal. That, that was the secret to all toys. Street Jerks. He got his tail in there. All right. Wow, I, he's pretty cool, actually. Yeah. The ripped crop top. I, I don't know why crop, ripped crop tops were cool in the 90s, but see, he's like, I don't know, dude. I don't, I, I, don't know. I don't know either, Mondo. I don't know. It's your past, not mine. Um, they do give you two more hands with him um, to hold on to stuff, such as his laser gun from the foot soldier. <laughs> Probably won't even do that. I'll probably just have him on a skateboard and uh, have him just ride it out, you know? Might have him maybe riding out with a, the bank bag, you know? Because he's just a thug, you know, trying to make it in the world. Maybe try to put the uh, gecko on him somehow. I'll figure it out. But overall, very cool. He's a very simplistic figure. I knew that coming into it. But again, um, I just have a nostalgic love for the turtles. I, I love turtle toys very much, and that's why I love... The NECA toys, because I'm, I'm not really looking to go get old Turtle toys necessarily, like the old school ones. I wouldn't mind owning like the original ones. Um, I know there's like a retro wave out, but I, I, well, I guess what I'm trying to say is I, I love the NECA figures because they really rebuild your love for uh, what you had when you were a kid. Only, you know, way better figures in terms of the paint job, the flexibility, everything. And Mondo's no exception. So again, I, I think it's cool because it gives you a more adult collecting feel to it, a more better look to your collection. Just like the original toy, he has a peg ready to go on the skateboard. So you can have him right out. Look at that. Yeah. Okay. Overall, you know, I love the fact that he can ride the skateboard. Um, it looks great. I don't like the fact that the skateboard does not have um, anything under the skateboard like there's nothing to the deck that's kind of a drag it's kind of a letdown to be honest with you um the gecko and the dynamite and the bag of money and the weird thingamajig th that's all cool i guess um the the laser gun was a huge disappointment um i was not feeling the fact that the laser gun just literally was the exact same thing as the uh, foot soldier's laser gun and and then again kerma uh, i mean it's cool they added him. I just don't care. Price point wise, I think the only reason why I'm a little miffed is that uh, he's a regular sized figure. You know, he looks to be about six inches or so. Muckman, who was also in this set, is like a seven inch figure. So he's a whole inch taller, and I believe comes with more stuff. Uh, he's a much more intricate looking figure, and he was like ten dollars cheaper. So I don't know what that is, but. Yeah, um, I try to keep these things positive, um, and I am in that I, I like to figure I don't regret my purchase, but I will say that part about NECA, that kind of bugs me a little bit. The same gun, nothing on the, under the skateboard, and then they didn't give him too much, and then yet he's $10 more than Muckman? Is it because they know Muckman sucks? Um, if that was the case, I just don't know why they made Muckman. So either way. Um, I know they're making more figures for next year. They're making a two-pack of Dirtbag, the Rat, and then Ground Chuck, the Bull. That one I'm getting out for sure. Um, that's probably a long ways away. Um, there's rumors of Toka and Razor from the animated cartoon. Probably going to get that. I have a lot of FOMO on not getting the uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles live movie sequel version of Toka and Razor. But it was like 120 bucks off NECA's site, and I just wasn't about to pay that. Uh, so... It is what it is. Either way, so overall, to recap, Foot Soldier, awesome figure. Overall, God, I'm going to have to give the Foot Soldier a 10 out of 10. I mean, perfect figure, great Foot Soldier figure. Goes to your collection. He does so much. I mean, between the Ninja Stars, a laser gun, two different swords, two different laser pistols, um, and everything else. There's just, there's no reason why, if you want a Foot Soldier in your collection, this is it. This is the one. Mondo Gecko, I would have to say, gets a, uh, I'm going to say like a 
I mean, I'll go eight. I'll go. I'll go eight. I think uh, he's a cool figure. He's very simple, but the little things and the price point is where it gets me. I, the price point really hurt it. I thought the amount of money for him was a little ridiculous, um, and especially compared to Muckman and for what you get out of it. And then you get a duplicate laser gun and nothing on a skateboard. But either way, great figure. Loved him. I hope you love the unboxing. I hope you like these figures if you bought them. And if you haven't gotten them yet, I hope I was able to maybe sway your mind on getting either one of them or maybe uh, helped you get your divorce meter down with your significant other, so to speak. And we're able to maybe like not get this, you know, chill on the purchases. Um, I should probably do that. I won't. So anyways, thanks a lot, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Like, share, subscribe comment on what you thought of the figures or if you're going to be getting them or you did get them or just if you thought they were cool and you were watching the video anyways but again appreciate all the support guys i really love it love the comments love the likes love any any way that you show me that you're digging the videos um have a great week and i'll see you in the aisles